All right, now the exciting part of the course, actually recording your first episode. So we're gonna go through the whole process of connecting your equipment and recording your first episode in this particular section. But let's start off with some things that we normally don't think about before we record our first episode. Controlling for room noise. So you probably are wondering, what does he mean by controlling for room noise? Think about it this way. If you're in a room and people are chattering in the background, when there's live microphones, you can pick that up. If there is a ceiling fan in your room, your microphones are gonna be picking that up. If the air conditioner's on in the background, that all contributes to background noise. So when I say controlling for room noise, all of those things that might be giving off some noise are gonna be picked up by your microphones. So you wanna keep that in consideration before you even start the recording process. Make sure and turn all those things off so you get a clean audio signal as you move forward. So this is how we connect the USB mic to the computer. Small input on the mic and the USB 3 connection on the side. Connecting your microphone preamp to the computer is super simple. Just take your USB cord and plug it into the USB port on your computer. The three hole connector at the end of your microphone cable gets plugged into the three pin XLR connection on your microphone. On the other end of the microphone cable, the three pin connection goes into your audio device. All right, so here we go. We're gonna show you how to record your podcast using Logic Pro 10, which is a professional version, literally, of GarageBand. So you'll see some of the features that are, are similar if you're used to using GarageBand. But you'll also see that it, this gives you increased capability when it comes to mixing and mastering. So one of the first things that we're gonna do is that we're gonna open a new file by clicking New. Second thing that we need to do is choose the appropriate tab. So we need to choose the audio tab and then also the input source, which is gonna be input one. Now, if you have multiple mics hooked up, you can choose inputs one and two. For, for this particular tutorial, we're only gonna use one input. As you can see, we're recording into our USB microphone, which is the Yeti stereo microphone. By clicking the arrow to the right, you'll see that our input device has been selected. Also, also you wanna keep in mind that your IO buffer size should not be any higher than this 128 that is selected right now. Because if it's higher, it means it'll be harder to download once it's uploaded to your hosting service. So we click out of that and we're gonna create our track. All right. So now we've created our track and you can see that we're getting audio. Right there, the green line, that's your input level. So you don't want that input level to go all the way to the top because you wanna create what's called headroom. That way when you mix and master your track, you have enough headroom to do that. So typically you can see the, the numbers there on the side, 30, 24, 21, 18. I usually want my audio to be between 30 and 18 to give me enough headroom when I mix and master. So that looks good. We wanna keep that about right there. Okay. Next, we wanna make sure that the track is armed. So we'll click on the, on the R and make sure the light is blinking. That, makes, that, that ensures that the track is armed. And we're still getting signal. So make sure and turn off this count in, this one, two, three, four. That's primarily used if you're recording music. So it gives you a count in to um, recording that music. So turn that off or else it'll give you an annoying click. Got good gain? Okay, final step in the process, make sure that you're clicking the record button to get started. So I'm Dr. Frank and we're recording how to record your podcast. Cool. As you can clearly see, there's some audio there. So we, we were effective in recording the track. So now we're going to do our vertical zoom real quick, and you can clearly see that your audio was recorded. 
Now, if there's no WAV file there, then your audio was not recorded. So that's basically it. This is recording in Logic Pro 10, but you also uh, use this, you know, very similar process in any digital audio workstation that you might be using, whether it's GarageBand, Audacity, or any other station. So now you know how to effectively record your track using Logic Pro 10 or any digital audio workstation.